guys and how are you all doing today so i wanted to let you all know where i have been the last two to three weeks since i haven't been posting any videos i actually moved into a new apartment and i will show you some footage here in a second of the moving in process how that went filmed that about a week or two ago i guess i moved in now uh let's think I moved in around April 2nd, so I moved in about two weeks ago, I guess. I've been trying to get everything organized, so much cleaning, so much buying furniture, buying decorations, buying everything I can think of to make this apartment livable. It is very small, it is 700 square feet, and I am living here with my boyfriend, Kaylin, so it's hard to fit all of our stuff into this tiny little space. So I've been doing lots of research on storage solutions, different things I can try to kind of make it a lot easier to live in this really small space with not a lot of storage. So it's been a bit because not only have I moved in, but a lot of things also happened when I moved in. For example, I lost my wallet, so I had to order all new credit and debit cards, all that good stuff. And then I realized that my wallet was in my purse the entire time, even though I checked it a good 10 times for my wallet and I tore this apartment apart looking for it. So I lost my wallet. It. Um, I got my first COVID vaccination. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather today. Actually, I just got it yesterday. So I got the Pfizer and it went fine. I had a sore arm yesterday, but been really kind of tired and not feeling the best today. This is only my first dose. So let's hope by the second dose I feel fine. Um, let's think what else happened. We found out a couple things about this apartment that we didn't know. <laughs> For example, we moved in not knowing that, we knew that we didn't have an in-unit washer and dryer, but we did not know that we had to pay for it. We probably should have asked, but hey, this is our first apartment. We had absolutely no clue that we were supposed to ask that. They didn't mention that to us, that we had to pay a fee every time you wash and dry clothes. I think it's $2 per load. So it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, I'm sure that's, depending on where you live, it may be a lot. I, for us, it seems like a lot. We live in an old historic home that was made into three different apartments. So right now I have one other neighbor and then there's a three bedroom bedroom apartment downstairs that has no one in it so far. Someone's hopefully gonna move in soon. But yeah, it's an old building. So because of that, as you can see behind me right here, it's a really, really old brick, exposed brick in this apartment. So there have been a lot of leaks, a lot of leaks coming from the ceiling because it has been a downpour all weekend. All of Saturday it rained and all of today it's rained and it's been miserable and cold and rainy, just like a normal spring day. <laughs> So, so that kind of came along with a whole lot of issues. Like we have a leak in my bedroom window. We have a leak right next to a fireplace in the living room here. We have another leak in an outside stairwell. It's just kind of been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, we had to get a fume hood installed, a microwave installed here. They didn't actually come with those. Our landlord's been absolutely great though. He's helped us with so many things. So thank goodness for him for being a good landlord. But I think that we're all kind of just learning as we go because this is an old building and we're the first people to live here in this apartment. So I think they didn't realize all all of the things that would come along with this old building and neither did we. But other than that, honestly, we have had a really good time here. I absolutely love the area I'm in. It's within walking distance to a lot of really cool restaurants and bars, things like that. So that's super great. And it's very cozy. I absolutely love the exposed brick. I love that it's an old house, even though it's come with its difficulties. I absolutely love that it's an old house. Um, I can actually hear the drip right now. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore it. But oh yeah, also another thing that happened, we are AC broke. So that was fun. So we, it was like 76 in here and it was only like 60 something outside and we were like, why is that happening? So anyway, yeah, we Sorry guys, my camera died. <laughs> Which also, I'm having a really hard time because I have so many things on my computer to delete so that I can make more storage on my computer to have more videos. So I've also been putting that off, but I've also just been really busy. So I am so excited to see y'all again and I've missed you. How have you been? Like, how have you been? Tell me, please comment below. I miss y'all. So I'm gonna give you a little apartment tour here finally. I'm going to show you before and then an after. And yeah, I hope y'all like it. Let's get right into the video. Hey guys, so today I am moving. Super excited, this is my new apartment. So first of all, I want you to see how good um, my hair looks. I literally don't know what's happening. Please judge me, like actually though, like I would judge me right now. But besides that, I want to show you the before of my apartment, before I unpack everything, how messy and crazy it looks right now so you can see the entire process, just like you're here with me. So here, let me show you what it looks like right now. This is when you walk in. Huge mess right now. Lots of things to do. Very pretty. 
pretty views though. We're on the second floor, so you can see it's a lot of natural lighting, which I like. Here's gonna be the table. Everything's kind of a huge mess. Walk through this little hallway thingy. Here's this closet, which is gonna have vacuum and storage things. Um, my very tiny kitchen. Super tiny, but perfect size for us. Um, bedroom needs a little bit of work. Also very tiny, but good news, I can actually, I can actually open my door. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to open it, so I can get in my closet if I need to. Um, but my bed's right there, so that's interesting. Cute little windows in here. This door actually goes all the way. These are all my shoes. Sorry, just ignore them. <laughs> we'll get to unpack them later. Um, there's this little brick wall, a little window, and then this actually goes downstairs to outside. It's like a little back door, so that's cool. Not heated or air conditioned in there though, so we keep this closed. And kitchen again. What it looks like. This little wall here. Oh, my coffee table's out here. Very little counter space. Fridge, microwave. Well, okay. Little bathroom, very cute. Look at my Mulan bun, love that. Love that for me, really truly love that. And then shower. Okay, so that is it. Let me show you guys my entryway. So this is what it looks like when you walk outside my door. So here's my door right here. This is it. That is it. That is my little 700 square foot apartment that I'm moving into. I love it. I think it's gonna be super cozy and the perfect size for me and Kaylin. Yeah, I think that it looks great. And I will let you see the after shot. Hopefully it gets a lot, a lot better than it looks right now. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, when you walk in this door right here, this is what you see. My living room. my little plant hidden under here. This is a table that I refinished um, that I found at Peddler's Mall. This lamp here, I think I got from Target or TJ Maxx, one of the two. Um, I got these really cute pillows from TJ Maxx Home Goods. If you see really closely here, they have some yellow stitching in them. I absolutely love them. They're oversized pillows. I did that on purpose because I wanted to be able to be really comfortable on my couch. And I always think big pillows look really great on couches, even this small little couch that we have. We have a little, this ottoman removes here and we can move that cushion if we want and made it into a chaise. This cute little pillow I think I've had from Target for a long time. All right, so if I'm sitting on the couch, here. This is my little entertainment unit. Ignore these picture frames over here. I still need to hang those. Um, but yeah, this is my awesome little, my little Target candle that I absolutely love to Asian vanilla. I get this all the time. It's one of my favorites. Some books I have been reading. Alright, my TV, which is really small. I'm ordering a 43 inch, this is 32 inch. We've had it for a really long time. My little Alexa. These baskets right here. I absolutely adore. I got them from Target for $88. They were a dupe for these really cute Serena Lily baskets with lids that I absolutely love, but I didn't want to pay full price like $100, $200 for. So I put my little blankets in here for the couch. And I think they're absolutely adorable. So I like to store things in those for extra storage. I have this cute little pot I've had from also Target, I believe. My little succulent, which is dying because I keep killing my plants. Some Easter candy that Kaylin's mom brought us. We got these little coasters right here, which are just porcelain white, very thin. Um, I got them from Amazon, actually. I love them. They were not very expensive. I don't want something white and simple. This lampshade, absolutely love. Here is our little window space here. So here are some of Kaylin's books and my little succulent that's dying. Um, it's really dying, just don't judge me. Here's a huge window in here, and we can pan right here. 
and this is the little dining room which is obviously connected to the living room y'all like this rug i absolutely love it it's kind of like a jute rug and it was from at home the store i absolutely love it you can't tell when it gets dirty which i love because obviously i'm going in and out of this area all the time because it's right by my front door so it doesn't get too dirty looking it's just kind of one of those rugs that holds up um little succulent here i'm going to find a better place for this hanging i absolutely love this thing but i haven't figured out how to hang on these massive brick walls yet i want to hang something there i want to hang something up there above this little fake fireplace and i'm going to put a big storage cabinet right here for more storage but this is our little set these chairs leave we're at from from hobby lobby sorry these were from hobby lobby they're just clear plastic chairs i love them i had them from my college days these placemats were from tj maxx home goods same little coasters from amazon my little flowers over there i love carnations those are really pretty that vase i believe was also from target more windows so there's a lot of big windows in here as you can see all right here and you go through a little hallway this is an industrial closet right here I won't show you what's in there just a bunch of junk and then this is my kitchen right here I got this little teapot just now from Target I got this little spoon holder actually from Walmart this little soap dispenser I thought was super cute was from TJ Maxx all right ignore my dirty sink we do not have a dishwasher that's another hard thing so we've tan washed all of our dishes my cabinet space so here is all my very small amount of cabinet space my utensils in here my little salt and pepper shaker and then our little bar cart area which is kind of like a bar cart slash coffee area we put a bunch of our k cups some coffee tea all of our wine bottles honey some apples we love amaretto so we put amaretto there some wine all that good stuff just for extra counter space too and then we got this little beside the fridge organizer not the cutest thing ever but really necessary because we have very little space in here here's a little fridge and microwave on top and then i'll take you into my little bathroom very little bathroom okay and i absolutely love this little sign because i'm a dental hygienist so i had to get it got some baskets these came from walmart actually just found these like yesterday to organize all my bathroom stuff because this little thing which i got from hobby lobby i painted it white it was red actually my mom painted it white for me so thanks mom but it holds all of my makeup and all that kind of stuff little trash can that's a third basket that matches those ones out there because it was in a set of three for 88 dollars, which was great and then here's the little window with another basket of stuff my little bathroom organizer all my towels and tissues lotion all that stuff my cute little white shower curtain which is very very plain white i thought it was very cute texture i actually really like this shower curtain it was right up my alley with the texture of it and i got it from tj maxx home goods so yeah and then a bunch of towels by me <laughs> Don't have very much storage, so sorry, just ignore that. But yeah, I absolutely love this little bathroom. I think it's perfect size, actually. Even though there's very little counter space, this kind of gave me a little bit more counter space, which was nice. But I actually made everything fit. All right, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't like it, feel free to unsubscribe and unlike my video. But I really hope you don't because I like hanging out with y'all. Um, I'll see you again next week. Bye. Hold on, let me zoom out. So I'm sure that you all have been wondering where I've been the last two, three weeks. Or maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay hey guys so i wanted to show you the before please ignore my hair by the way it looks like a mess actually let's fix it